If you're watching this video, you may have been following my journey on rebuilding this car, or you may just be a car enthusiast or someone that's interested in finding out how write-off cars actually pass their MIT and get back on the road again. So for those of you that have been following my channel, you will know that this is a category S write-off. And for those of you that haven't, you're like, and for those of you that haven't, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow this journey because we've got plenty more projects to come. And if you haven't left a like, please do because it helps me out massively to get exposure on YouTube and hopefully we can start to grow this channel a bit more. In this video, I will be talking about what it takes to get a category write-off car through its MOT and very shortly, you're about to find out what the outcome was from when I took my car to its MOT. So we're gonna roll on to that and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Well, the sun just came out, imagine. Let's go. <laughs> so, we are back from the MOT. And guess what? We got a hey! smile, more like. So, the haters. So, it passed the MOT with no advisories, which is crazy for a Cat S car. To have zero advisories at all, it's just uh, proof in the pudding, really, isn't it? So, I must have done something, right? Addicted to achievement, aren't you? Addicted to achieving, yeah. So, to reward myself, I've had a little treat from Platezilla. Now, if you need to get yourself some sick plates, 3Ds, 4Ds, whatever you want, they've got it. Go check them out. I'll drop their Instagram up here. But I'm going to show you how to transform your car with number plates. It's going to look sick. Should we just do it? YouTube Peak Patrick, yeah? <laughs> so there are five simple steps to transform your car. Step one, remove your old number plates from the car. Step two, remove any excess adhesive that's left behind from the old number plate. Excess adhesive, yeah? Who are you? <laughs> Step three, place the adhesive onto the back of your plate. Step four, stick the plate onto the car. Step five, repeat on the other side. The car looks so much better now with some fresh plates. Just give it that edge over other cars out there. Shout out to Platezilla. Like I said, links in the description for all their stuff. So yeah, check them out. While we're in the garage, we're just having a look at some of the other cars that are in here. This is Jake Subaru, WRX Impreza, two litre turbo with a dump valve. Hopefully we get to hear it in a minute. Sounds lovely. And we've got a nice classic Beetle as well. We're going to get the wheels off in a second. Jake's helping me out here. Going to get the wheels off. What are you thinking, Jake? You like the car? Yes, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get the wheels off. Brand new tyres coming out. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay. Clean though. Right, two new tyres on the back. They're looking pretty clean now. Touched up a little bit on the uh, on the rims, on the edge, just with some black paint and a brush, and they're looking uh, a lot better, to be fair. In a minute, <laughs> is, uh, is Jake and his Subaru. Let's have a look. I got absolutely sprayed then. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that pulls. <laughs> it's 
not too bad, is it? Yeah. For a standard motor, mate. Right? <laughs> that dump valve. <laughs> Love that dump valve. That's insane. Right now I've got the fresh plates on there. We're gonna take a drive in the Audi. It's kind of my first drive. I did drive it to the MOT test center, but obviously right now I'm gonna take it through motorways and uh, dual carriageways and whatnot. So on our little trip to go and see some friends, socially distancing, obviously. It's gonna be our first proper drive. So yeah, see how it goes. Now, before I take this first drive, we got a blessing. Ah, before I take this first drive, we got a Chris in the car. And by that, I mean, get the air freshener out. I have decided to call this car black cherry due to the blacked out exterior and red brakes so it made sense in my mind maddie has kindly got me a black cherry yankee candle air freshener so shout out to maddie behind the camera oh yeah, yeah boy right, now just drive oh have you got a seatbelt on your side yeah finally i do i think i have two actually no. right and we're off for our first drive let's go Good skirt! So I've been driving the car around for a couple of weeks now and to be honest with you, it's been absolutely faultless. So we're gonna finish off the video with the topic or the subject of the video, which is basically the MOT in of the car. And as you guys know, it did pass the MOT and it's great and it has had no fault. Because it is a category write-off car, so the insurance wrote off the car, it has to be MOT'd again, no matter how long the MOT had previous to the crash or to it being written off. So around five years ago, you actually had to go through extra inspections with a write-off car after you were preparing to get it roadworthy again. That was apart from the MOT. So these days, all it takes to get a write-off car back on the road is to just MOT it. And to some people, it may seem a bit of a low standard because it doesn't check every single thing on the car. For example, it could have bent chassis, a broken rail, bad subframe, whatever. But at the end of the day, the MOT is to check how safe the car is. When it got to getting my car ready for the MOT, there was a lot of things that obviously needed to be passed. So I needed a new headlight, I needed a new slam panel and whole front end pretty much needed to straighten up the frame and match it with the slam panel, lower control arm, and I needed tires as well. So the bonnet as well needs to be beaten back into place, but as long as it's functional and there's no sharp edges on the bonnet, then it's a, it's a pass basically. So um, yeah, that was, all, that was all good for me. We're gonna end the video there guys. I hope you all got a bit of information about how it works around MOTs and write-off cars and what my journey with this write-off car was. Hopefully in one of the next videos, I'm gonna do a price breakdown of this car. As you can probably tell, I've still got a couple of bits I need to finish off. Uh, the bonnet actually does need replacing and the bumper needs re-glossing to match the rest of the car as well. But hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet and you come all the way this far, please do subscribe and hit that like button for me. It'd be very useful. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.